Welcome back, Gadgeteers. Today we're going to talk about what you can do if you are a dual booter like me and you have a Linux and Windows boot up and you want to access your NTFS partition from Linux but you're having problems. Now there's a feature called Fast Startup that we need to disable in Windows and then once we've done that we're going to reboot and I'll show you how to set up your NTFS drive in Linux. So the first thing we need to do is cruise into the control panel and then we're going to go into power options and we want to click the button choose what the power buttons do then we're going to click change settings that are currently unavailable and we're going to turn off the fast startup sleep and Hibernate's already off. So I'm turning all these features off because this is a desktop computer anyway, and I really don't need Sleep or Hibernate turned on, but most importantly, Fast Startup has to be turned off. We're all done with that. We're gonna save the changes, and then all we have to do is shut down Windows, and once we reboot, Fast Startup will be shut off now. Okay, so we're back in Linux now. The first thing we have to do is find out what drive and partition we want to mount. I'm going to use the lsblk command. And looking at the drives here, I've got three different main hard drives here. One is SDC, which is my actual Linux hard drive. SDA is actually my Windows SSD hard drive. And then finally, I have this drive, SDB, and I can see here that I have a 3.7 terabyte partition, which I currently have mounted at 4 TB, so that's a folder. And I'm gonna show you the mount command that I use to do that. So all I do have to do is type in mount-t, mount-t, ntfs, dash 3g and the device which is sdb3 so it's drive b is in baker partition 3 and i have the mount 4tb folder set up i'll press enter but it's probably not going to work because it's already mounted yeah it's already in use so no it's not going to allow that but normally this command right here would be what you would use to mount that partition on that particular drive. Now what if I wanted to actually have it mount every single time at boot up? Well I can do that too. If I edit Etsy FS tab, so the directory is Etsy and the file that I want to edit is FS tab. I've actually put a line in here that will automatically mount dev sdb3 on the four terabyte folder in the mount directory using the ntfs 3g driver and use defaults actually i don't need to write because i haven't saved anything because it's already been done so now i won't have to manually enter the mount command every single time i log in the other cool thing I can do, if I go ahead and run File Manager, and if I go home, I can go all the way to slash mount, and I can take this 4 terabyte folder here, which is access to my 4 terabyte drive, and I can drop it in places here. And now I have a shortcut. To my four terabyte drive so whenever I open up my file manager I'll see that shortcut to the four terabyte drive and I can go into fast gadgets and quickly make a copy and just for kicks and giggles let's see if we can make a new folder in here so I'll do create new folder and I'll call it test folder and there it is 
and I can make a test text document and then I can edit it and we will save and then quit. So now I'm able to read and write to this drive and all I had to do was turn off that fast startup feature in Windows 10. And of course I can go over here and move it to the trash and now it's been deleted. So this is a really nice easy feature for me to be able to get into all my backups and storage and everything that I want to get access to from both of my systems and it really helps out a lot. So I hope this tip helped you out. If so, like and subscribe and if you really liked it, share and of course I always like hearing from you. Go ahead and drop a comment. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.